seems you've finally come around. I believe congratulations are in order. You've officially passed the compatibility exam and are now ready to begin your life anew as a synthesis. Sign the contract, didn't you? Let's have a look at it, shall we? Pertaining to the experiments and business affairs of the organization, the signee. Ah, that's you. Does hereby agree to faithfully and willfully cooperate and participate in all assigned activities without objection? As compensation, the organization agrees to remit rare and valuable character goods, figurines, and books per the signee's wishes. Really, they're rather shady terms. It's a wonder you would ever endorse such a document. <laughs> as you look it would seem. A pity, really. Well, the choice is yours. Just know this. Defective goods must be destroyed. Master 
Senya. We have a situation. I don't like the sound of that. What's wrong? Th there's an intruder in the building right now. An intruder? What happened to the guards? share some of my blood with you. This will most likely save you, but it may bring you even greater suffering in the days to come. If you think you're willing to take that chance, then please, drink my blood. I could swear I just sensed a wicked notion from you. down a difficult road, I fear. But in the end, your fate is your own to shape. <laughs> I, Shizuku Tokikaze, do hereby decree that this man, whose blood will soon resonate with my own, be welcomed among us. It seems to 
have taken. And thankfully, your wounds are now healed. My name is Shizuku Tokikaze. What is yours? It's nice to meet you. I'm sure you've heard the rumors, haven't you? That monsters have been attacking people on the streets of this town. I am a hunter. It is my duty to slay these monsters. These... Synthesters. Typically, those who are transformed into Synthesters lose all sense of reason. They blindly, violently pursue all that they desire. Fortunately, you manage to avoid being swallowed up by your own material lust. As far as I can determine, you still seem to be fully capable of rational thought. Though I suppose that's because of the blood contract. You're something more than a Synthester now. No, never mind. Your wounds may have healed, but you're still weak. And you're still extremely vulnerable to sunlight. During the daytime, you'll need to take care not to expose any of your skin below the neck. Otherwise, your body may dissolve. In a sense, yes. You share their aversion to the sun, at least. Though crosses and garlic won't ward you off. It may take some time for your body to heal. I'd suggest we rest here for the night. I don't think they'll find us here anytime soon. Try your best to relax. You should be able to move again come morning. anything by wandering aimlessly through the streets after all. I'd prefer someplace quiet where we can regroup, but anywhere is fine as long as it's secure. Akiba Freedom Fighters? All right then, will you show me the way?
yesterday. Your body is extremely sensitive now. Exposure to direct sunlight could dissolve you completely. Keep a close eye on your clothing. Don't let yourself get stripped down. I doubt the men who attacked us yesterday will give up quite so easily. That's right. And if they find you, they're going to attack on sight. Of course, there are bound to be those who won't. But I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> they're here. somewhere. Stare. Who is this lady? She's not part of the Freedom Fighters, is she? Saved your life. Oh, I see. I see. Anyway, you must atone for leaving me alone and worried these past three expenditure this time. But next time you disappear like that, you'd better be 
ready to declare bankruptcy. The other freedom fighters have been really worried about you too. So make sure you've got your story straight when you see them. The longer you wait to explain yourself to everyone, the more danger you'll be in. Also, between you and me, I'm a little embarrassed to see you traipsing about in such shoddy attire. Stop by any time you're back at base, and I'll give you a makeover. For a small fee, of course. Just something to keep in mind. The present situation, however, is that this sunlight shines far too brightly for a humble shut-in, such as I. Therefore, your adorable sister shall now coolly take her leave. I'll see you back at base. of these Akiba freedom fighters? If we don't get moving soon, we could be attacked again at any moment. Oh, for the love of... Do you even... 
comprehend how much trouble you've caused everyone? You don't exist in a vacuum, you know. So, ignoring these two for the moment, I believe introductions are in order. I'm Yuto, Yuto Tachibana. May I have your name as well? Mine is Shizuku. Shizuku Tokikaze. We call ourselves the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Together, we voluntarily patrol the streets of Akihabara, keeping an eye out for trouble. He's one of us as well, and this bar serves as our base of operations. That's right. And I'm one of the central figures in our illustrious group. Name's Kaito Tachibana, and the pleasure's mine. As you might have figured out, I'm Yuto's older twin brother. Best way to tell us apart, I'm the one with all the ideas. Is one of those ideas being out of school and unemployed? You shut up! You shut up and you die! Little brothers can't show up, big brothers. It's against the rules. Yes, yes, that's enough now. I'm Kachi Raipuni. I flew on in from Finland to Japan, so I could see and do its cool busy culture. I believe what she's trying to say is that she flew here from Finland to study the cool culture of Japan. Name's Kihachi Sugiyama. I'm the manager of this here game bar, Mokra, where people can knock back a few while they play these old classic arcade cabinets. Feel free to just call me Pops. Everybody else around here does. But you're welcome to call me Dear Sweet Old Man if you prefer. He's got a face fit for the FBI's most wanted list, doesn't he? <laughs> hey. But he's a good guy. Don't worry. You could have said that sooner, you know. I'm Toko Sagisaka. I grew up with this dolt and just can't seem to get away from him, despite my best efforts. No need for formalities with me. Everybody just calls me by my first name. Incidentally, thanks for saving him. I happened upon him during a mission. It was good fortune, nothing more. There is one other member of our group, but she's like a rare monster spawn. She should pop eventually. Guess you'll meet her then. So, what's the plan? Do we all pile into the police station and tell them Akiba's infested with monsters? They'd never believe a word of it. Why not? I mean, we can show them living proof. You're one of these synthester things now yourself, right? No, no, that's no good. He'd get dissected and have weird sciencey tests run on him. Hmm, so going to the police would involve giving him up as a noble sacrifice. That sounds reasonable. Don't even joke about that. Besides, shouldn't we be more concerned with trying to get him back to normal? I mean, if he stays like this, he'll start attacking people sooner or later, right? That should be no concern. He will not attack others against his will, the very least. He... he won't? Well, what do you think? You're the one in the hot seat here. Yeah, that's a good call. And we should start by checking out the place where you interviewed. If we were to find clues anywhere, that would be the most obvious spot. Hmm. There's still an awful lot I don't get, though. Like, if there's hard evidence of monsters in Akiba, shouldn't the police already be on it? Until we're certain of that, all we can do is our duty as freedom fighters and investigate. Oh! Hey, Tokikaze! Would you care to help us out with that? What? Well, I mean, you seem pretty familiar with these things. So come on, what do you say? It is true that I've been researching them. But I'm being specifically targeted by them as well. And I don't wish to involve you all in my affairs. <laughs> I think that ship has already sailed. No kidding. These creeps have already changed one of our guys into some kind of freaky vampire. So yeah, if you can help with that, we ain't gonna stop you. Alright. Okay then, perfect! Shizuku, please write your name and cell phone number in the group registry. Cell phone? Don't have one of those. 
That's rather unusual in this day and age, but if you don't have a cell number, your email address will do just fine. Um, well... Hmm, sounds like you're a tough one to get a hold of. I guess it would be kind of awkward to ask for your home number, huh? Actually, I haven't been home in quite some time. There were problems. So you're an honest-to-goodness, real-life runaway, all mired in melodrama? I didn't run away exactly, and I do have a place to stay. A place with plenty of manga. They even have a shower there. Don't tell me you're staying in a manga cafe. Do you not have anywhere else to go? Hmm. Seems you've got some heavy stuff going on. Knock him dead! <laughs> 